Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. Today I will be making a beautiful rainbow pour with all these colors. So at the beginning I wanted to show you what I'm using. I'll be using titanium white, um, genuine yellow light, cadmium orange, cadmium red, deep, mauve, viridian, thalo, uh, and then this turquoise and pale turquoise blue. And I'll be making my pour on this long canvas, which is size, I think it's 15 times 40 centimeters. It's very long, you'll be able to see the whole canvas soon. And I wanted to explain what I did with my colors. I mixed my colors with pouring medium. And as a pouring medium, I use Kraft PVA glue. I mixed 60% of glue and 40% of water. And this mix creates my pouring medium. And then I mixed 50% of acrylic colors and 50% of pouring medium. Sometimes you need to use a different proportion if you've got different brands. Each color is different, so you need to work it out. Now I'm gonna put two drops of silicone oil in each color because I would like to have nice rainbow cells on my canvas. So that's two drops in each color. Now I can move all these. So here you can see my whole canvas and I've got my white prepared here. This is without silicone oil because I don't want cells popping on in my white. So I'll pour all this on my canvas and try to cover everything with white. I need to keep a little bit for later on. That's it, my canvas is covered in white and I'm gonna pour a little bit more white in the middle, like this. And now I can start pouring my colors. So I'll be making these little blobs of colors and then put a little bit of orange inside. That and then orange, mauve. Now the important thing, I'm going to add two drops of silicone in my white, which will be my swiping color. Now I've got this piece of plastic. I don't know where I got it from. There's lots of people who always ask me, what is it? It's a piece of plastic, it's quite thin and it's great for swiping. I think you can get this type of thing in some art, uh, art shop or somewhere. So. Let's make a swipe, the most exciting part of this. Okay. 
Ooh, I can already see some cells growing. I'm gonna use my heat gun, which is a cheap one from Lidl. It was about 10 euros. So it's very hot, you have to be careful with it. Wow, look at these beautiful cells. Look at them. So beautiful. Oh, I love this. I'm going to move it down a little bit and see what happens with my cells. Okay, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Such a beautiful, beautiful cells. Oh. I might try to make another one and see how that looks. So I will let this dry and show you the finished result. So see you soon. Welcome back after a week. My pore is dry and look how these beautiful, beautiful cells turned out. I think they are so cool. I love how this turned out. And now I would like to embellish this middle painting. There will be two more. I would like to embellish this with my favorite bubbles. And for that I will use these plastic cups because it's the easiest way how to make r nice round circles. Of course, you don't have to make exactly round circles but I prefer to use these to make some round circles and I'll be using my whiteboard bar marker which I bought in a local shop it was very cheap one euro so if you'll be looking for this I just suggest going to some store and they should have this whiteboard marker and I start by drawing these circles around the center and then I will show you what to do next. It's one, and then So these are my cells, now let's turn them into beautiful 3D bubbles. So I usually start with black acrylic color. I put a little bit on of black here and I'll be using this type of brush for blending my colors. It's size 11. I might be using also smaller ones size 6 and size 5 so these are the brushes which I'll be using so let's put a little bit of that black on my brush and shade this top part Then I put my brush in water 
and try to blend my black. like this and then I want to mix a little bit of this cadmium red with my black to add a little red shade just a tiny bit so I mix a little bit of this red with my black and create a very dark red color And make the shade up here. Nice, it's already looking interesting. Now time for my white, so white, put my brush there and the bottom part will be white, reflection is coming from this way, so this is the bottom part which needs to be lighter. this and again I will put my brush in water and I try to blend it nicely so I can see what's hidden behind my bubble. It's nice to see these cells which are hiding behind this bubble. As you can see there's a little bit of that red mixed in which is nice. Now I'm going to work on the shade, which will be on the bottom of my bubble. So here we go, little shade underneath. And again, put brush in water and blend your black. Now last part, make sure this black acrylic is dry and now I'm going to use this Posca acrylic marker and I'm using this because you can paint a really draw really nice thin lines with this Posca acrylic marker. I got this in local art shop. I'm sure you can order this on online from some shop or something like that. So. 
And you can do this with white acrylic color and brush, but I prefer doing this with this acrylic marker. So reflection will be up here. Like this. Yep, and that's my bubble. I love how beautiful and 3D that looks. I love when the pour is underneath that bubble because it looks so beautiful. Now I will finish all these other bubbles and show you the finished result. And here's the result of my rainbow bubble pours. It's three canvases which beautifully complements each other. And I just love the 3D effect in these bubbles. They look so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this special tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. And if you liked it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you again for watching and for all your positivity. I hope you are safe and healthy. See you soon. Bye.